Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are taking unit second. We have uh, completed the unit one, so please go back to our previous videos and see. So in this, we are taking unit two. The unit two is about transformation. The first is Fourier transform, and then we'll have Z transform. So let's see about Fourier transform. We have some of the formulas which I'll be teaching you all. So in the first video lecture, I'll take about all the formulas, so it'll be easy. So first, there is an even function. Uh, in even function, we have to put x is equal to minus x. For example, if we put x is equal to minus x, then the f of x, if uh, the f of minus x, it should be f of x. Means, if we put x is equal to minus x, and then f uh, minus x should be f of x. That is known as even function. When it comes positive, it's known as even function. And the odd function will be when we put x is equal to minus x. And then f of minus x, it will come minus f of x. So in this case, it is known as odd function. So this is the even function and odd function. Then we have a formula for integration of e raised to ax sine bx dx. So for this, the formula is e raised to ax upon uh, a square plus b square into a sine bx minus b cos bx so this formula is entirely about for example if we have sine bx over here then we'll start with sine this will be common for the both formulas we have to refer to and learn uh, so i will tell about this formula then i'll explain it is e raised to ax upon a square plus b square then into a into we have cos over here so cos cos bx minus b sine bx so uh, the way formula is uh, starting we, uh, we, in the question we have a sign so the formula in the beginning it will be sign and over here it is a cos so it will start with cos so this is the formula these formulas we have to learn then we have Lebanese rule in this this is a kind of a u into v rule integration of u into v where the u should be a that is algebraic and v should be t that is trigonometric this is the thing to be remembered and for this the formula will be u uh, into v integration minus u derivative into v double integration plus u double derivative into v triple integration and so on so these rules i will explain you as and when the sums come so for now please uh, pause the video write down the formulas and learn all the formulas so that it will help you in uh, further sums Fourier transform formulas those are the first one is Fourier transform means in this what we have to do we have f of x and we have to transform it into f lambda and this is known this is lambda so we are converting f of f lambda that is known as Fourier transform ft ft is Fourier and the formula for f lambda is f lambda is uh, we have integration minus infinity to infinity f of x into e raised to minus i lambda x dx so this is the formula you have to remember these formulas you have to learn it is minus infinity to infinity f of x into e raised to minus i lambda x dx. So, it's the formula for Fourier transformation. Now, we have inverse Fourier transformation. Now, what, what is inverse? When we have f of x, we converted it into f lambda. Now, when we want to convert it back to f of x, that is known as inverse. Inverse Fourier transform is i f and t. I have to inverse Fourier transform. So for this the formula is we have to find f of x. So the formula for f of x will be 1 upon 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity f lambda into e raised to i lambda x dx. So uh, in the uh, previous formula we had minus over here in this formula we don't have a minus that is the difference so this is inverse Fourier transform that is IFT now these formulas you have to learn it down you have to uh, learn it so that uh, it will be used in the future sums this formula is about Fourier cosine transform FCT 
so in fct we we will have uh, when we uh, have f of x we have to convert f of x into f c of lambda that is f c t that is fourier cosine transform we have to convert f of x into f c t in questions they will give convert the given equation into f c t i f c t that is inverse fourier transform fourier transform cosine fourier transform so on so so the formula for f c lambda is f c lambda uh, it is integration of 0 to infinity f of x cos lambda x dx this is the formula then we have inverse fourier cosine transform now uh, now we will have inverse fourier cosine transform means we have this and we have to convert it into f of x that is we have fc of lambda and we have to convert it into f of x that is called as inverse fourier cosine transform so for this the formula of f of x will be 2 upon pi integration of 0 to infinity f of x lambda cos lambda x dx now this is the formula i will explain you all how to use these formulas when the sums come so for now you all write down these formulas and learn and then we have fourier sine transform fst so in this we will have we have to convert f of x into fs of lambda fs is fourier sine of lambda so for that uh, we have the formula fourier sine transform so to find fs of lambda the formula is integration of 0 to infinity f of x sine lambda dx sine lambda x dx sorry so this is the formula for finding a uh, fourier sine transform now as we uh, for found fourier sine transform we'll find inverse fourier sine transform now in uh, inverse fourier sine transform we have to convert fs of lambda into f of x that is fs of lambda into f of x that is known as inverse fourier sine transform for that for converting it into f of x we have the formula as 2 upon pi integration of 0 to infinity f fs of lambda into sin lambda x so this is the inverse fourier sine transform formula ifst so learn all these formulas which we have learned today so all these formulas are very important it is the fourier transform formulas Thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos so in the upcoming videos i'll be taking sums of the fourier transform so stay tuned thank you